When I turned my brother in, I told the truth. I trusted the system, but my brother does not belong in prison. Please, I am asking you to reconsider. I did not enjoy sending a teenager to a maximum security penitentiary, particularly when this travesty could have been so easily avoided. Michael's father has a lot of enemies at Pentonville, and you know that, sir. Sonny Corinto seems to have enemies everywhere. Michael needs to see firsthand the darker side of how his father makes a living. He'll understand the folly of wanting to join the Corinthus crime syndicate. Yeah, if he lives that long. Okay, a, a suspended sentence with community service and counseling would have had the same effect, with less risk to Michael. Your brother took a human life. Despite all his protestations about wanting to confess, he went right along with the cover-up. Anything less than five years would have been irresponsible. He needs help. Michael had all kinds of opportunities to get help. Far more than most criminals that have come before me. Michael's not a criminal. Yeah, he is. And killing his stepmother could be the start of a career just like his father's. This time in prison could be Michael's best chance to turn his life around. I hope you are right, sir. So do I. Good day. Guys, going to read for his sentence. Ah, he just needs a little encouragement. That's all. What are you thinking? Well. It's not going to be pretty, but it could work. Not illegal. Look, I'm not suggesting that we plant evidence or make anything up. But everyone has dirty laundry somewhere. All we have to do is find Judge Carroll's. We let him know we have it. He gets to make a choice. He can reverse himself, or we hang the judge. And all of his dirty little secrets out to dry. It's only a matter of time before somebody hurts Michael. Just get me inside Pentonville. Make this happen, please. You know, if I'd known about this earlier, I wouldn't have gone after Michael. This whole situation was so ripe for a deal. Can you help me or not? You know, I really hope I can send you to prison without your cooperation one day. But until then, I'll arrange for you to plead guilty to a Class D felony. It will carry about the same sentence as Michael got, and it will help me salvage this mess out of my career, and my superiors will be all over it. How long will it take? Less than 24 hours. Okay, can you just, just call me and tell me when and where I have to surrender myself? Thank you. You're doing the right thing. I believe you are too, Mr. Morgan. some time to think about this. I mean, I'm going to continue to be Morgan's stepfather. There's no need to do anything drastic. Morgan needs to know that at least one part of his life is secure. He knows that we love him. Yes, but you spend time with him. You take him places. You teach him things. You're a real father. And I'm going to continue to be there for him. But if you if you want me to adopt Morgan because of what happened to Michael or because you're trying to get back at Sonny, then maybe you should think about this a little bit. That's more. not what this is about at all. Okay. Okay, then I'll adopt Morgan right away. But understand that once he's my son, there's no going back. I don't want to go back. I know that you can protect Morgan, and you can keep him away from the violence, and he won't grow up wanting to be a criminal. <sighs> Maybe we should uh, discuss this with Morgan. You know, give ourselves a little bit of time to work out the details. I don't want to wait. I want to do it now. Well, because you don't want to change your mind? I'm not going to change my mind. You're a wonderful father. I just have to give Morgan something that won't go away. Just be sure it's what you really want. I want to give my son a second chance. Morgan Corinthos will be gone forever, but Morgan Jacks will grow up with a secure, productive life that Michael deserved. And I will be grateful to you. Suspended sentence precludes actual jail time, which is certainly a relief, but it's going to give the powers all kinds of grounds for a wrongful death suit. <laughs> think they'll settle out of court. It's not funny. You're right, it's not. This case has nothing to do with money, Lexus, and you know it. 
Bowers are just going to try and generate as much publicity as possible, and it looks bad. They're going to say that you deliberately ran down Kiefer, left him to die by the side the of the Bowers road. know that I didn't deliberately do this. What they want is to force Christina on the stand and try to get her to say that Kiefer didn't beat her and that she was lying the whole time. You destroyed their child. Now they're going to go after yours. She's just starting to feel better. This trial is going to devastate her all over again. What trial? You said you got a suspended sentence, so there won't be a trial, right? 